CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Wi-Fi camera to your Wi-Fi router. First, I need to open a web browser. I'm going to open Microsoft Edge here. And then I need to connect to the wired IP address that is set on my camera. Your camera will have a label on the top of its box that shows its wired IP address. So first, to connect it to your Wi-Fi, you need to wire it to your router and then power it on. After you've connected it to your Wi-Fi, then you can deploy the camera and connect it wirelessly to your Wi-Fi router since it's paired. So first, I'm going to navigate to that IP address. The default is usually 192.168.1.109. If you're on a different subnet or network, you need to make sure that you're on the same subnet or network scheme as the camera is set to. So you want need to match that scheme of the IP address that's on the label. So I'm going to hit enter to go to the web interface for my camera. I'm going to log in using the username and password that's also found on that label. And now that I'm in the camera stream, I can see here it's got a nice shot of our office ceiling. And then to connect it to the Wi-Fi network, I first need to go to the setting tab. In the setting tab, there is a network sub menu on the left hand side here and then there is a another sub menu called Wi-Fi so this is where you're truly adding your camera to the Wi-Fi network now by default we set the wireless IP address of our cameras to be DHCP or automatic so you don't need to worry about setting a static IP address for your wireless camera on the wireless network portion of the camera until after you've connected it to your router if you so wish. So again, you only need to set a static IP address on the wireless network card of the camera if you need a static IP address on it, otherwise it will be automatic. I'll show you that here after connecting my camera to the network. So here I have a list of SSIDs. If you're not seeing SS, any SSIDs or wireless networks, you need to click the search SSID button and confirm that your network is compatible. For example, this camera can only see 2.4, otherwise known as BGN wireless networks. And I have those listed here. These are all the 2.4 gigahertz networks that are available in my local area. So I'm gonna double click this is our office Wi-Fi. And then you need to enter in the Wi-Fi password for your Wi-Fi network. So this is gonna be the same Wi-Fi password you've typed into your smartphone, into your laptop computer. If you have a Mac computer, this is the same Wi-Fi key or Wi-Fi password you use to connect those devices to your Wi-Fi network. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that password. I have it on a notepad here, so I can just go ahead and copy and paste it into my web browser. You may need to type yours manually. If you need to do that, go ahead and type it in. And then after you've typed it in, you can click the connection button. What this is going to do is tell the camera to try and connect to that Wi-Fi network, the SSID of Fios YP56L, with the Wi-Fi key that I've entered into the camera. So after a few seconds, the camera is now trying to log into the Wi-Fi network and I have a connected status. So now here's where the IP address comes in. It automatically got this 192.168.1.193 address. So anytime my router reboots or the power goes out or the, even the camera reboots, it may get a different IP address. If that's a problem for your system, then you will need to set a static IP address. However, you need to set the static IP address after you've connected it to your Wi-Fi network. So now I can go to the TCP IP page. And here under Ethernet card, I have my wired NIC. Again, this is the default 192.168.1.109. And now I can go over to wireless. You do not necessarily need to wor worry about the set as default card. 
this is only necessary this set as default card is no longer necessary for a wireless camera to work over a network here we can see it sets to DHCP which means it automatically gets an IP address and I'm gonna set it to a static IP and then just set it to 110 as an example after I've done that the camera's wireless network card is now 110 if I type 110 into my web browser here I'm now accessing this camera technically through my wireless network so if I were to disconnect the Ethernet cable that's connecting my camera to my router I can still access it with the 110 IP address because that's the wireless IP address that I have set on my camera. Hopefully this video gives you an overview of how to connect your Wi-Fi security camera to your Wi-Fi network and then set a static wireless IP address on the camera. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.